With the thorny issue of student debt in the United States and the political consequences of President Biden's efforts to alleviate it. His decision to write off hundreds of billions of dollars in student loans has sparked a fresh debate across the United States. Earlier this month, Biden announced plans to forgive up to $20,000 in federal student loan debt for recipients of Pell Grants and to forgive up to $10,000 of student debt for others who qualify. Even though the plan is a sigh of relief for thousands of indebted former students, it's also being criticised over its fairness and its impact on America's already surging inflation. Critics say waiving off student debt will provide people with additional spending power that could negatively impact businesses that are struggling already to keep up with consumer demand. Some economists say debt relief might not be the best bet for the American economy at this particular moment. Others believe debt forgiveness is like putting a band-aid on a deep abiding wound. Policy experts say the loan forgiveness doesn't address the larger problem in America of soaring college tuition costs. They are indeed eye-watering here. And there is a political angle, of course, to all of this with just weeks to go before November's midterm congressional elections here. Political analysts say President Biden was under huge pressure to do something to improve his standing, particularly with younger voters. In July, Biden had the lowest approval ratings, 38 percent since the beginning of his term. But now, after the waiver was announced and amid a slew of other generally positive moves for his administration in recent weeks, in one survey, his approval rating is as high as 45 percent. Last week, a Gallup poll highlighted that a significantly higher number of Americans approve of Biden's handling of his job as president than they did earlier in the summer. For more, we're joined now by WEON's US correspondent Susan Terrani. She is live for us today in New York. Uh, Susan, how much difficulty was Joe Biden facing with younger voters? And how does this alleviation of student debt help him turn that around? Welcome back, Simon. Joe Biden was facing a lot of difficulty, not among younger voters, but as you mentioned, among the American public in general. Whether or not this relief of student debt will really motivate younger voters to go to the poll during the midterms is yet to be seen, considering the fact that, you know, this debt relief is really uh, considered to be for the higher echelons of the society. And those are regular Democrat voters on the first hand uh, in the first place anyway. And, you know, when we talk about uh, really confidence in Joe Biden going up, it's him uh, himself. When we see polls, whether or not the country is going in the right direction or not, uh, we see that those polls are still extremely low. Seven in 10 Americans, eight in 10 Americans still see that the country is not going in the right direction. Uh, so with those uh, in mind, you know, on the other hand, you know, to on a positive note, this was a campaign promise that Joe Biden uh, says that he was fulfilling. Uh, so, uh, you know, it might maybe move the needle a little bit. But I think younger voters are looking for other things um, to go to the polls. And it's not clear whether or not just forgiving, you know, $10,000 for some and $20,000 for other is really going to vote, uh, motivate the younger voters that Joe Biden wants to take to the polls to go to the polls. Yeah, and of course, Democrat leaders in Congress wanted him to go even further on the student debt issue. But more broadly, Susan, there's no question that if you look at the political predicament Joe Biden is facing today versus the situation he was in a month ago, I mean, his approval ratings have turned around. His White House has notched up a number of legislative victories. There is reason for Democrats to dare to dream that the worst case scenario for them this November might not might not now materialize. Materialize. Absolutely. A number of issues. You know, as you mentioned, it's not just the student load issue. You have gas prices being uh, lower than they were just the last time you and I spoke. Uh, inflation is a little bit lower, about 1% in July, despite the fact that we did have the Fed say it's going to raise interest rates. That's not a significant amount. And you have a slew of other issues as well. You know, the student debt um, announcement, and then you have that kind of 
sneaky climate agenda being passed uh, by the Democrats. However, it's being called the Inflation Reduction Act. Those are all things that despite the fact that they might not have immediate effects, the perception is when polled, Americans are saying that the Democrats seem to be doing something. And that's why they are, as you mentioned, they're dreaming that they might do better in the polls uh, than expected. But again, we go back to, um, to see that come November, it's still a few weeks away, a few months away, um, whether or not the general perception of Americans on how the country is doing is going to be the same. And that's what's going to be important. Busy few weeks ahead for you. Susan Terrani, Weon's correspondent, live for us in New York today. Thanks very much indeed for that.